The Quran says, you are busy piling up, calculating, developing your careers, your money, your occupation, your wealth, until you visit the graves. Think about it. When was the last time that you went to a funeral? Was it your mother? Was it your father? Was it your grandfather? Was it your uncle? Was it your cousin? Was it your friend? Was it your wife? Was it your husband? The last time that you visited the grave, when you went to a funeral and you saw that person whom you love that was laughing, crying, live, boasting, wealthy, educated, denying, arrogant. So it really means that after all this time and the people walk away from that grave, it's over. What about that person in the grave? What's happening? Because you know and I know that death is almost like sleeping. Death is like sleeping. Your body is gone. Your body is dead. Your spirit is gone. But your consciousness is there. Yes, brothers and sisters, you and I are going to know when the people put us in that box and put us in the grave, we are going to know. Your spirit is gone. You can't shout. You can't call out. You can't say, don't leave me here. But you're going to be hearing and you're going to be seeing because that's a different kind of consciousness. But you can't move. And in that grave, this is when the real trauma is going to begin. He calls us to go into another womb called the tomb. You started out in the womb of your mother and you wind up in the womb of the earth called the tomb. From the womb to the tomb. This is the whole trip. And this is what you have to think about. That grave is going to be a place of drama and trauma. A place where you're going to be questioned before you're resurrected. Allah says, and a sign for them is the dead earth. After that, we give it life. And then you eat the fruits from that. So Allah says, the one who gave you life in the beginning, is he not able to give you life all over again in order to judge you? Yes, certainly. You may want to deny it because you don't want to be judged.